Welcome to the Master Debaters Podcast. I'm your host, J.O. Stacks. I'm NJ. And this is Captain M- Sherard. So is this the legit 29 then? Episode 29? Yeah, this is, this is the actual one. So yeah. basically, this is like the, the last year of my life, this episode. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. And it's, uh, again, it's been one week into this. You know, uh, last week uh, we came in here, we're uh, contemplating uh, what we've done, and it's been crazy. It's been a crazy... Seven days. Yeah. Because nothing has changed. <laughs> I thought, you know, the big really? 3 might bring, you know, there, there was a couple of days I had the birthday blues, I'll admit. and uh, But the weekend came and, you know, I'm still here living that greasy life. <laughs> the grease. The grease. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been following what you've been up to. Yep. And yeah, it seems like just same old. You know, it's a, uh, just got to live it. You know, I have no uh, no regrets. It's like, uh, look, can you see me? Am I, do I look red right now? Yeah, you look. You look like you have a nice tan. <laughs> you know, uh, he was saying I look red. Am I tan? I think you're. Yeah, I think it's you're tan. pretty red. I'll be honest. Ooh, I'm, a, I'm a red skin right now, so which is fine. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm embracing, I'm embracing it. Embrace your own culture. I like it. And you know, I've actually been putting in work though, because you, what you're saying, I look Jack now, or what? Yeah, you, yeah, you, you know. You know. I've been, uh, I work hard and I play harder, you know, uh, I've actually been in the gym like hard and, uh, shout out to Dilly and Shawnee cause they like, basically they get me in there every single day other than the weekends. Cause we you know who's Shawnee. That's, that's, that's the first I've heard that name. Shawnee <laughs> West. If you watch my snaps, Shawnee, uh, Shawnee West, my boy. No, we made the transition to, uh, Instagram. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. You got to retire. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, you're a fucking wasteman. No, I'm still uh, <laughs> here on Snapchat. I'm pretty committed to the snap life, but uh, Sean Ye is my boy. Um, yeah, we, we're in Mexico together, and uh, yeah, he's been getting me in the gym, like teaching me shit. Like, uh, like I used to, I just go in there, you know, do like lift some shit randomly. I'm like, okay, <laughs> but no, he actually teaching me like, hey, this this shit does that. You know, I got to learn all the proper muscle groups and the like, game. Hey. But then oh, you always wow. don't you don't want to be the guy who doesn't show up to the gym. How you mean? There'll be days like I all seriously get like I work, I'm just exhausted. I get home, like ugh, I don't want to go to the gym. No, but those you, are the days. But where you it still the most, but you though. still gotta show up so that you're not that dude. Exactly. Yeah. You don't want to be the bitch of the crew. Exactly. If your homies are there, you can't be the guy who doesn't show up. And that's the key thing is having those people around you to push you in there. Like you uh I think you sent me that one with the uh DJ Khaled and Rick Ross. That uh, that meme was like his homies like laughing at him as Rick Ross like pulling uh, the dumbbells. His homies are laughing. DJ Kells like, hey, he hollering at him like, hey, you need to have those kind of friends. Yeah, you need to have friends like DJ Khaled who you know push you to be better. Yeah, yeah, no, that's one of my favorite like hip hop videos of all time. You got yeah. Rick Ross who's you know known as being a very overweight rapper. Yeah, and you see him there and he's just bench pressing and everyone else around him is just laughing at him. But DJ Khaled is there and he's just fucking. He's like, go, go, go. He's yeah. like, just fucking. And like that, yeah, that's the kind of encouragement that I think everybody needs from their their core circle of friends. And you know, I I get that in in different ways. You know, I I, I don't spend my days in the gym, but um. You know. we'll, we'll get you in there. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I can tell you this though. I've had. Uh, it's actually kind of embarrassing this weekend. I ate a lot of grease. You ate a lot of grease. A lot of poutines. Uh, mm, I had a poutine today. Ooh. It's okay. I was uh, gonna have a poutine today, and uh, the guy wasn't there. Unfortunate. Ooh. A poutine. 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 Sorry, Saskatchewan. A Vladimir, a Vladimir poutine. poutine. You had a poutine. <laughs> he protect. He attack. <laughs> but most importantly, he hack. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> so, Cap, uh, I ask, is that there any good. good like poutine spots out there or what? Uh, there is a guy from Toronto, and he does a, a, a food stand, like a tent, and he comes to Brick Lane, which is uh, about 10 minutes away from me every Sunday. From Toronto? Uh, from Toronto. Toronto. And he makes That's poutines. Good. Yeah, he makes really good. You get one with um, pulled pork on it, too. Mm. So you some, is, uh, some spicy sauce on there. How oh, would boy. you compare it to um, our like three in the morning drunk smokes poutines? Um, you know what? I think smokes is just the next level, but this oh, guy does a pretty good job. Yeah, like, considering smokes. that I'm halfway across the world, like this is pretty yeah. good. Yeah, smokes is on one. Okay, like, so there's no. I had that's what I had today, and that's 
You oh. want you want to hear my my smokes uh, experience from the weekend here? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. So uh, Friday we went to the uh, opening for the Planet of the Apes. Tremendous movie. Like it was honestly, it was amazing. Yeah. Like I was, uh, it's one of those movies, action packed, emotional, and it's like a, uh, it's definitely like the Logan of the uh, the franchise. Love it. You said and, that last week. Oh, can you re- like it, this is the Logan of this? This it, it literally <laughs> this is, is. This is the cultural touchstone of our generation. This is the Logan of this. I love it. Yeah. And uh, anyways, uh, there was a, we got a full row at the VIP there. Yeah. And this this chick I brought. Um, <laughs> We said before the night, we're like, hey, we're just going to get semi-lit. Love it. We had, you know, we had shit, to, shit to do the next day. Anyways, get belligerent. Love it. End up at Smokes, Smokes Poutinery. Always. I was there with a crown on my head. There's a big lineup. I was there with my brother and this girl. And there's a huge lineup. And I just said, what? Watch this. I was like, just follow me. Walk to the front of the fucking line. I ordered three different, the large poutines. Like, there's the Korean, uh, the chicken bacon ranch, and something else. And basically, I end up eating, like, 90% of it all. Fucking damn, dude. Wow. Yeah. And it was, uh, it was glorious. Uh, you should hit that gym more. Cap, do you remember our smoke story from last summer when uh, Homeboy puked in my car? Was that Hector? Oh, my God. I... Or is that the other? Forgot other about that. Was that when we drove him home? Yep. And he didn't know where home was. Yep. That, that's a good one. Was that my boy? Uh, this no, no, that was uh, a different. That was a different one. time. No, that was a different time. People just love puking in my fucking car. Yeah, and not and not knowing where they live. No, <laughs> and not knowing where they live. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, Both of those. He's trying to text somebody, but like he was in a game and he couldn't get out. Yeah, so basically... That's some white boy shit right there. No, no. That, man. no, he was a black dude. Yeah, really? And he was my homie Patrick from high school. Shout out to Patrick. Um, <laughs> and, and he made uh, a big time kiddo. Yeah, uh, but so basically on Canada... It, this was Canada Day. Yeah. We went to the club. We went to... Um, where did we go? We went to Hudson's. Yeah. And You, you consider that the club? Uh, no, we went to it's we went out to club. the club after that. Okay, okay. Yeah, but we started off at Hudson's, and then uh, I was there with a lady friend of mine, and then I ran into Evan, and then uh, the cap showed up, and then uh, I rapped uh, on the street corner with a guy playing a guitar for a while. That was wild, and people That's were like fun. videotaping it and shit. I do recall that. Oh, that, was that the guy pissing in the streets? No, that that was a no. This guy was just like a normal dude. That's coming okay. up. No, Don't worry. Okay. No, nobody was pissing in the streets. Okay. But so we go to smokes because Evan wants a poutine before I start to drive everybody home. But Evan is with Patrick and you know, they're kind of homie. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll drive Patrick home because I wasn't really drunk and you know, I didn't mind driving. I had just got this new car. I was like, ah, right, yeah, cool. You know, we'll cruise for a bit. I'll drop everybody off. And it's not a mission of guilt or anything like that. Just no. for you know, all you police department folks watching. No, I hadn't. I hadn't. I hadn't drank. I was on my not drinking phase. Exactly. I didn't start drinking heavy until Halloween. There was no. There was <laughs> but no, we'll get into that another time. <laughs> disclaimer: No liquor and driving was happening. No. At any point in time with the master debaters. No. No. Not in me. Uh, so we left and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. I'll drive everybody home. So we go to smokes and I'm like trying to round everybody up because everyone is East except yeah. for me. And so he's standing at the, the till I've ordered my poutine and everything. And this Patrick guy is standing at the till trying to order for like 20 minutes. I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. And I finally, I'm like, okay, what the fuck is going on? And he's trying to buy a Coke. And his card, he's putting it in upside down <laughs> with, like, the wrong side of the chip. And the guy working there is an idiot because he should have just fucking said something. Like, if you're working that shift, you got to be able to handle drunk people. But here's the thing, though. I guarantee probably you he's, burnt pro- out. he's probably making, like, $12 an hour. He's probably yeah. like, I don't get paid enough to deal with this shit. Fuck this. That's probably true. That's probably true. A bit, but like, bit of sadistic pleasure in there, too, where it's like, let's just yeah. see where this goes. Why not? Yeah, so I finally went to him, and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll fucking buy his fucking drink. So I buy him yeah. a drink, and we get into my car, and I start driving everybody home. So I want to drop him off, and he doesn't know where he lives. 
So <laughs> he tells me one address and we go there and it's not the right place. So then he Are you tells, sure this is not my homie? Because no, no, no. So and this, this happened two times. This has happened two times to me. And you can that ask sounds exactly the ca- like the other story. No, because the, the time with your homie happened like two weeks before this. So then you can ask Cap. This night, I was fucking irate. I was so mad because I had just went through the same shit like two weeks ago. But he was cool still. He wasn't crazy yet. Yeah. So we're, all, we're on our way back to my car. And all of a sudden, right in the middle of the street, whips out his dick and just starts pissing. Yeah. So you lied. Like downtown. That's exactly what I just said. You're like, no, that didn't happen. No, that's not. No, I, I just said I was getting there. Oh, okay. I was just getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he whips out his dick, just starts pissing on the sidewalk. Like People are looking and everything. And he just doesn't care. He's just out of it. So we get him <laughs> to my car. I'm like, okay, where do you live? Where do you live? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I'm like, okay, who can I call? Doesn't know. Do you know anybody's phone number? No, he fucking, he's completely gone. I can't communicate anything. Go to unlock his phone. It's like stuck in a game. Everything's fucked. Everything's frozen. He doesn't know his passwords or anything. Yeah. So I got his older brother's phone number and called him from my phone. Found out where his address was, dropped him off, and then, yeah, on the way there, he puked all over the inside of my car. But, yeah, two weeks prior, I was at J.O.'s hanging out with some people, and I also agreed to drive some people home. Uh, and one of the guys said he lived on 11th Street East, which is on the east side of the city. And then once we got all the uh, way to the east side, said, oh, I live on 11th Street West. So I turned around oh and I drove all God. the way to the west side down like where Avenue H, like way down to like 11th Street. And then he's like, oh, and then he gets out of the car and then he, he's like, oh, shit, sorry, they're not here and he, he just gets right back in and, like, expects me to take him to another spot in Lawson Heights. I drove for probably oh. an hour and a half with, with him and, like, three other people in my car. And everyone was just annoyed. My buddy almost, like, attacked him. Um, he was like, I've had enough. That's miserable. On, uh, on behalf of Stax Nation, I would like to uh, issue a formal apology for that, uh, that evening. And, um, then, and then, oh, yeah. And then at the very so end I- of the night after driving around for an hour and a half trying to get him where, to where he needed to go right before we got him to his spot, he puked all over the inside of my vehicle. Again, Stax Nation <laughs> is uh, truly sorry for the incidents at hand. And, uh, yeah. yeah. He's been exiled from Stax J- Nation. J.O.'s man's. No, he hasn't been exiled, oh, yeah. but he's been, he's been exiled from NJ's vehicles. Yes. <laughs> for all eternity. You know, that's, and that's fair. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a fair in the country, but you can't use the transport. I don't, care, I don't care whatever happens to us ever in life or how close that man ever gets to me. You're <laughs> never allowed in my car again, either of those two gentlemen, <laughs> after you do some shit like that. So want to hear that's something totally fair. Some funny? Mm. So uh, on the last episode, I believe I talked about I was losing, I lost a lot of stuff during my, my birthday celebration. Yes. So me and my homie Sean, Sean Ye West again, we were, uh, Sean Ye. he was there with me basically the whole way. And we've been, we've been looking at Snapchat footage because we went to the beach the one day and I had go, a GoPro in my head. Yeah. We looked at all the footage. We have it pinned down to an hour and a, hour and a half time frame. And we actually looked at his, uh, on the way to the beach today, we're like Google Maps, it tracks your stuff. We actually were able to look at every stop we made that night. But the hour and a half that we, we pinned it down to, even Google doesn't have it down. Because it's like, it's like, oh, you're at Pink. And then it's like, boom, you're driving. And you ended up at this after party. But we went end up at Manchester's because, you know, we, we kind of parked there, grabbed liquor. Like Google literally, when we were blanked out. So you don't remember what happened for like an hour and a half. There's no GoPro footage and there's no evidence of what happened. It was the dark times. That is hilarious. And, and that, and that, that is perfect. In, in that time frame, I lost my painting that I bought from a street performer, $40. Oh. My, my credit card holder, which has my ID, my treaty card, <laughs> credit card. But the thing is, though, because at that time, because like, I, uh, I took out my good credit card that I usually use. I have two credit cards. The other one I just kind of keep as a like backup. But the one I always use is in my pocket. So I must have taken it out to go buy liquor. And then in the next 45 minutes, I somehow lost it. It's been See, uh, it's, that, it's been that a gotcha. happens though. Like you can't not have a drunken adventure and have one of those stories. Like I've definitely gone to an ATM, left my card in there or my money in there, walk yeah. away and just and then come back like, oh, I should probably pick up my cash. You know, like this is a, it's a character too, building thing. What it is? Oh, 100. percent And I'm still determined. I I feel that I will find them. It's just you, you gotta find to, out what, uh, who you who else you were with that night. 
A lot of people. Actually, want to hear something funny? Hmm. Did I mention this a lot? Oh, no. It wasn't uh, with the 40 old ladies that I mentioned on the last one? No. So that night, so after, so we go to this after party, and in my head, I thought we went there and it came straight home. That's when I had the spider in my hand, the tarantula. Okay. Come back to my place, and then it was like a couple of days later, fucking Sean's like, hey, well, what about those girls you had over your place? At uh, Did you show them a treaty card? I'm like, I'm like, what girls? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, guy, he's like, we went to your place, and we were on the balcony looking over the, the city, and there's people like two two floors down, you told them to come up, and like a bunch of like 40 old ladies, and then you, like, I guess I had a conversation with her about, she's like, she looked very white, but she's trying to embrace like First Nation, like saying, oh, I'm a native. I she was trying to natives. embrace the First Nation. Exactly. Mm. So then like, he's like, well, did you show her? Because like thinking like, hey. You want to see what a real treaty card looks like kind of thing. And like, hey. You're like such a loser. Oh, man. Wildlife. That sounds like... How do you do that every weekend and still function? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a mystery that uh, remains to be seen. Like, that's the kind of shit I do once a year. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, that was really good. I can't wait till next year to do that again. And then the whole rest of the year, I'm like a normal person. But you are like for real. Um, I'm a grease of nature. Yeah, I'm a grease of nature, man. <laughs> yeah, 